to aspiring autistic pigeon yeah it's it's been a bit of time since i've um done a video and i didn't do one last week at all but uh yeah, I was, uh, because i was extremely busy with a lot of different things and unfortunately uh, i didn't get time to actually work on my stuff all right so um yeah i'm back and as you can see this drawing that i've got on here is actually my most recent drawing i did i did it quite fast um i received a, a generous donation from a friend which was uh, a bamboo splash so um or wacom bamboo splash and that has improved my speed a little bit as as well as receiving a generous donation of uh my my younger brother which which helped with the the pc um so that can at least speed up my things the the laptop i was using was uh not as fast but it's it's the same same uh specs basically it's just got a gpu in it which makes a big difference when it comes to the art all right so as you can see here this this is actually a fan art piece of uh tk uh writing uh, Pegasus Mon from Digimon. This was actually a request. The request didn't actually specify having um, Pegasus Mon, but I thought, you know what, uh, what is TK is doing in space? So uh, who, the the deviant who wanted me, and that sounds bad, but it's the deviant who wanted me to do this piece um, just requested TK in space. Now, uh, as you can see, what I did with this piece was just to kind of do TK in his style, still keeping keeping to the to the style of um, of Digimon. Otherwise, uh, if you go too realistic, then things are gonna go a little bit a little bit off with the character. You know, you gotta stick to the the basics. And um, Digimon has a very basic style of drawing with a lot of uh, there's not a lot of detail in it. And uh, if you go too far into detail, you gain you're gonna begin losing what actually makes the characters who they are so uh yeah i just did a bit of gold on his uh on, on um pegasus mon um mon's uh legs there it's a little bit uh more color depth than what they have in the actual show and then a little bit of lens flaring yeah i'm not that great at planets just yet i'm getting there i think the red planet of a year is more uh, indicative to something that will be um more acceptable uh this was sort of my first attempt at like a space drawing so um i really just i'm i try and push myself wherever i can and uh that's that's just how i can do the what we we've got to do as artists and, and just try and push every every time you do a new piece try and push um anyway i didn't do any changes so i don't know what i want to save all right, as, as uh, I said before, I'm using Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Um, it's not the mobile version. So, uh, yeah. I'm um, not working on a very high resolution. Oh, God, a sneeze coming. There's actually a banner resolution. Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, so uh, basically I have no idea what I'm going to draw today right now. Uh, the thing is I actually have to begin working on uh, new shirt designs and everything again. <laughs> Since I've been out of it uh, for a while, uh, my system was really just bothering me and it was, I don't even know what I'm working with here, uh, pen-wise. So let me grab some pen. Uh, I just want to grab my pencil. I had to recreate it once again uh, because of the new system. So this is like the third time I've recreated this pencil on uh, on Sketchbook. Uh, I need to create more pens and things. Um, just slightly bringing that down. All right. Uh, yeah. So maybe just a little bit. Let me just check the thickness of the line. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so as I, as I said, I, I don't really know what I'm going to draw right now. Um, normally, I come up with a breakdown, so uh, I'll do a breakdown tomorrow because it's already quite late in the week. So I'll do an, an artist breakdown for you guys, um, get, the, get a character that I'll break down 
and uh, then you guys can check that out but uh, right now I just want to kind of like bloom into I haven't warmed up or anything so I'm just gonna get my uh, my bearing straight here with with warming up and you'll see I'll just draw a couple of shapes and just play around and my hand will begin naturally just uh, getting into the groove yeah, of, of things but uh, yeah, I must say that uh, that that the, the bamboo definitely um, helps a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure all uh, the tech that goes into one of these pens. Uh, one other thing that I can say that I'm impressed about is that it doesn't require a battery. So my old pen required a battery, which doesn't run out very very fast it's not the battery is not the problem but what it does is it gives the pen quite a lot of weight so it feels very you know even later on it feels very um heavy and unnatural especially if you switch you're switching between traditional media and um and digital because a pencil in itself is is quite uh quite light so uh yeah what i'm doing right now like i said it's just just like slightly warming up here and uh just getting my bearing straight with uh with my pen so i i, I doodle a little bit and you know doodles can be very fun as as, as doodles go i used to doodle all the time in class you know it's the way um you know an artist goes about their life um not that anybody you know anybody can be an artist they just need to to practice and put the hours in and um that's that's about it it's like uh it's like anything else in, in life the more time you dedicate to it the the better you'll become at it so any any person can become that but you just need to practice uh, obviously some of us are a bit more naturally um advantaged because you know we've been drawing for a long time and and uh you know if you decide all of a sudden to draw in your in your 20s or in your late teens then then you've got to go through a lot of steps to learn how to draw but uh, at the end of the day you can do it it's not that that you can't it's it's all available there um as you can see i'm just doodling this little character here um putting little things in his hands and getting getting the little alien going here and uh, <laughs> the the greys you know the greys is a kind of like a standard doodle for me it's like I've been doodling the, the grey aliens for a very long time it's just how it, how it goes um, you know, you when you're doodling, you do do things uh, that you're familiar with, familiar with, and uh, a little little bum there. <laughs> um, also, been uh, played Star Trek on. I'm, I'm a big Star Trek fan, and not like massive Star Trek. I won't be able to to uh, reference anything, but uh, I do love the franchise. And I've been playing a bit of Star Trek online, and let's just get these little ladies a little thinner, so it suits the character more. Let's yeah, see the thick lines of unsurety. Um, anyway, so so yeah, the bamboo tablet definitely makes this one one heck of a difference. Um, you know, um, I I don't. I say if you you know you got to start with the tools that you have and uh, you know unfortunately for me with with that is the the fact that uh, you know my art wants to develop and um, I couldn't go further because well I couldn't develop faster because uh, the system was constantly lagging when I was doing uh, bigger drawings so this isn't actually on that scale I don't know what this arm is doing actually. I have no idea what I'm doing uh, with this character. You know, I've got to put probably some kind of. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
some kind of different movement in that arm to make it look better um, anyway yeah so uh, you can see I've downloaded some of the brushes again I've got to download all the brushes that I have um, again yeah it's been a lot of um, tinkering with uh, windows and, and um, or getting the new windows on and, and things like that it's uh, really put put a lot of time and, and stuff that I've needed to do I actually had to travel to go and pick this PC up so uh, that's that's like I say that's why uh, there's a lot of things that you know I, I didn't do um, last week which, uh, I should have I actually did draw on on Saturday night once I, I received the uh, tablet um, you know if if Paul is watching this um, anytime I just want to really say thank you it was really fantastic of you to send this over it uh, really helps uh, and definitely will, will help me develop in my art uh, let me just think what I'm going to put in this little fingered hand here yeah, you can see I'm just doodling so it's it's all about warming up and, and getting there so getting different shapes in and, and things like that um, yeah so you know as I say it's 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 you got to start with the tools that you have I mean I was drawing with it that the, the things that I was drawing with for many years and uh, that pins uh, tip was even running out and, uh, and they don't like the bamboo tablets have uh, a standard replacement for your for your tips so um, unfortunately for me it was running out as well but fortunately for me I had some uh, had some kind people help me out there and uh, Mpo is actually my uh, my wife's best friend and uh, you know that was she's also an artist but she doesn't really do digital art so she she sent this tablet that has been lying around there and uh, I'm eternally grateful for that um, you know there's a trying to get some depth into this character and, and get some <laughs> things going here see that that is like um, a doodle mistake right there you know the cat alien is holding his weapon like it, it doesn't have a trigger my to one it doesn't have a trigger that's a alien weapon so you know what we can do is uh do something a little bit more different and add some some tick into it here and uh you know get this thing actually fitting on his arm it's all about the imagination so Do, do, do. I still don't know what this hand is doing. Um, it could be holding, like I actually envisioned, kind of like a, an alien flare there. So I get this little little globe lighty thing going on here. Their flares are not the same as ours. They don't use um, something that will run out. Okay, they, um, yeah. So, <clears throat> so yeah. It's been it's been a while since I've uh, done anything online, and uh, I did put it on Deviant Art. As you can see, I'm just waiting for it to reload. I see the connection, obviously, because I'm streaming. Has a bit of a problem, so uh, yeah, the line line speed isn't that great. I had to put it on even though so you guys can go check that out. Um, yeah, so this is my little alien duty that I'm working on right now, and you know the backpack I think is from the previous drawing that I've got on. But it's also cool to like add certain things to to your characters and get. Uh, a better idea of kind of what you're doing you know the more you add to a character and obviously you don't slide to the character but the more you add the more depth the character begins getting um, 
so this is kind of just like a quick a quick drawing of uh of this alien duty who's got this weird backpack on and you know you just gotta stretch your imagination and try and get you know, I think get things you know it's 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 for me it's it's not like um i see something in my head and i draw it not not always it's it's um for me it's kind of like it, it, i build it up from what i'm doing and uh sometimes if i have a good idea of what i'm doing like what i did with tk um i had a good idea of where i was going with the drawing so yeah that's that kind of like i see it in my head and it came out but uh yeah that uh that's that's when you using your reference and then drawing something specific um which is the most most of the cases when you're doing business things but when you're just doodling like this you don't really see anything the importance is just to to get your hand your hand warmed up um you know with with that then it, it just becomes easier to draw so yeah this this the tablet i'm using currently is is still um hand-eye coordination but uh you know it's fantastic so it's definitely a lot better than what i was using i thought but i get used to that got to take that zoom off again do that on the laptop ah, you see that that zoom my, my finger my thumb keeps clicking the uh the buttons on the on the tablet but uh yeah guys just uh let me know um you know you know speak to me and, and chat to me online it's it's you know, it's pretty fun to uh reply to you guys and uh you know, i got got a comment at least this other day so i'm pretty happy about that um things take time to build up so you know i'm not impatient with with the youtube you know a lot of people want to get the youtube channels running as fast as possible and for me it's not about getting ad revenue or anything like that uh even though you'll see that i will put ad revenue on on certain videos but it's not like i've received anything it's i don't have enough views for that so it's just for later on when uh when things are going a little bit more uh more successfully on the YouTube channel that uh, that can also just be a passive thing to come in uh, I don't do it on my videos that I do on fan art and things like that obviously not because I don't view it as right to, to claim money off of uh, other people's characters that's uh, not how I operate um, I know people will pro some people will say I'm, I'm pretty silly for doing something like that but uh you know I've, I've got my own things that i do and as you can see i'm just adding this this these little gadgets on him and kind of beginning to make him a little bit more like of a warrior um for here alien yeah and this is kind of like how it goes when you doodle and uh you just got to keep at it and, and eventually you can actually get a pretty good drawing because like i said i have no idea what i was going to draw when i came online and um you know it's just uh normally i would just like oh, okay i'm going to do a character breakdown for everyone and uh or i'm going to do something of my own and i still have to begin thinking of like what i'm going to do now and, and stuff so i'm just like a, uh, I've, I've i've stated before in one of my videos in one of my beginning videos was that uh, i wanted to do this as just to kind of have an artist hub for people and uh hopefully that will shoot up sometime in the future it's uh it's nice to to be able to chat to other artists and just be be part of the community um yeah although i ghost a lot though um i'm going to call it ghosting because uh Sometimes I go uh, dark for a bit, and that's my, my it's a habit of mine, and I don't like it. Uh, you know the social aspects of things. It it, it gets it gets there, it gets there. So let me do that with that layer, and then you. Well, let's just see what we got here. So I want to actually check 
how I've been uh, doing this. You'll notice that I, no, let me just put this pin size a bit down. It's big, so. Uh, you'll see I'll begin filling in different uh, areas as well. That I would assume would be there. I'm not using the uh, line straightening tool as much anymore for uh, things because my other tablet is just a little bit more unstable than this one. Although uh, for perfect for good good line work, um, you know, I assume that uh, I would say it's better to to do that because the other programs that one can use has have their own um, line straightening methods, so it's not actually um cheating doing what i'm doing because once you uh once you begin working with those programs you'd understand that uh all of them have their own straightening abilities especially when you're working with this kind of uh tablet you know um it, it gets a bit difficult to to keep your line straight and neat especially when working on a professional uh picture so yeah Anyway, um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy. This is kind of what I'm going to do today. Um, after this, I'll probably go and design a new uh, T-shirt or iPhone cover or whatever. I want to actually begin testing out the um, capabilities of the painting. I haven't done a, a large digital painting yet, and then I should be able to do it now, which I'm very happy about. And I've been exploring a lot more into um, digital painting as of late uh, I can I can definitely say that because uh, it's kind of where I want to actually go it's like I want to scrap the t-shirts and everything uh, and I want to focus on wall art and, and and those things so I've been drawing characters for a very long time and line art is kind of my my thing and i still use line art even when i'm busy drawing um or paint or doing, doing digital painting but uh you know i'm trying to get out of the habit of doing that i'm trying to rely more on uh, values to bring out the picture than than relying on um lines because uh, that's the one weakness I would say a line artist does end up getting is that uh, you rely a little bit too much on, on actual physical lines that you can see like as you can see in this character my um, you know, I'm relying completely on, on, on line work to, to kind of bring him out Yeah, and I'm still using Sketchbook. Um, still using Sketchbook Pro. This Sketchbook is a, a well, it's 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 a, uh, it's a wonderful program actually, and uh, you know it all goes about on how you focus on the programs. Um, what I like about Sketchbook a lot is the the feeling of when you're actually sketching, uh, when you're busy drawing up things. It takes a little bit more to get used to the uh, more refining skills of Sketchbook and yeah, it doesn't have all the features like photographic features that uh, Photoshop has which which aids a lot of um, digital artists to bring out certain effects but uh, the same effects can be achieved. It's not like it's, it's, it's it can't be achieved. They are uh, there, the features are there and it can can be can be done it's just a matter of uh, patience on learning and also implementing those things yourself um, 
so you know in a way it kind of um, puts you uh, a little bit above um, the rudimentary skill of being able to edit a, uh, edit a photo um, being able to edit photos I'm not saying it's, so diff- uh, it's not, I'm not saying it's, a, it's an easy thing definitely not using Facebook and being proficient with it that for me is quite um, quite awesome oh, Facebook I mean Photoshop but Photoshop, uh, you know, um, yeah, there's a lot of features I, I, I think make uh, make people lazy. But also, as I said before, I don't believe in in um, people who say you know, I don't believe that the people who use digital methods are cheating. It's not that I use them myself. It's just because uh, you know those things you got to learn, and that you can't implement those things professionally um, without knowing and understanding those tools and also another thing is that whatever gets the job done faster um, is better yeah let me know what you think of this little doodle of my my character I'm taking the little doodle further and uh, it still goes to those basic lessons that I've been going through with you guys. It uh, goes to do with shapes and you know, I'm still busy with this circle thing here. Shapes and stuff and cleaning up. You can see I'll have to do a lot of cleanup if I go further um, with this drawing, which I'm not really going to do. I'm just going to draw the, the line work on this character. I'm not really you know, take him much further than in the actual line work. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying the little alien duty. Let's put a little leg um, bone there. And the muscle comes in and folds in over there. The thing about drawing um, aliens is you've got to like kind of keep keep them in a way a humanoid um, yeah I can just I believe I, I do believe that there are aliens out there I'm not one of the abductees um, some of them sound absolutely bonkers but um, yeah what makes your reality is what you believe so, um, I believe there are aliens out there, I do. I mean, there's no way that our vast universe can have just us in it. There's, to me, that is, um, people who don't believe uh, in that. It's, it's just silly, it's just, I don't understand how you cannot. It's like not believing in din- like dinosaurs existed, and some people don't. But, uh, yeah, anyway. when you're drawing um, alien creatures it's, it's good to to stick to kind of like a humanoid um, a humanoid feeling um, unless you're doing like alien monsters now that's a different story but when you're doing alien races like uh, the greys for instance or um, other characters of, uh, of variation then then it's good to stick to humanoid uh, kind of characters because it's just more relatable to the viewer. Um, you know, if you drawing or coming up with a little comic book strip or a character basis for, for these little little guys, um, then if you really want to push it further, sticking to, to a humanoid construct is going to be more relatable for your viewers because uh, you know our eyes look for those uh, things now obviously as I said it doesn't apply to alien monsters alien monsters you can really use your imagination use reference on uh, deep sea creatures or even normal land-based insects or, or animals and really push the pail there but um, 
when you're drawing characters that you want people to actually understand and see and relate to, uh, then you're going to want to stick to kind of a human um, basis, like the way that we are formed. Um, it's just easier for, for your viewer to, to understand and also easier for them to connect with the characters at the end of the day because you know we're all good uh, all good authors and um, story writers you know story writers authors um, character creation you know, it, this is understanding the human psychology of um, we we want to relate to what we're watching um, that's why we watch or get entertainment so much. It's, it's, and that's why a good show, um, when a good character dies off, you feel emotional about that character because you were attached to those characters. And a lot of uh, long series like anime prove that far beyond. You know, it's like um, you you can relate to the characters even though they are not um, always human or even plausible in, in, in a way you know? so it doesn't matter what you can what you make a character do it really just matters on how you relate that character to people uh, so we like to have like problems solved um, or uh, relate to a specific problem that a character might be going through whether it be a relationship problem or or anything such as and that just like you wouldn't be able to relate to um, to Superman or Batman or uh, any of the uh, the comic book um, heroes if uh, if the characters were non-relatable like even Bruce goes into a relationship and, and so does uh, Superman you know, he was born on uh, he was uh, born on Krypton, but he was sent to Earth, and you know he does fall in love a couple of times as well. And those things uh, just make it him more human. And though he's not, and his story emphasizes that he's he's, he's a man that that struggles to accept, or in the beginning though, to be accepted by human humanity, or to accept his role in humanity, and then later on to accept his role as not being human. Um, there are still relatable things about that character that, that help you build up a little story. Um, yeah, this is the doodle. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too far with this doodle. I mean, I didn't lay down everything the way I was supposed to. Um, it was just really just to warm my hand up. And as easy as that, I just go clear and I go clear and everything's gone. I do that more often than I, I should. Uh, I don't really save my doodles um, all that often. But, uh, you know, in that case, I can, I've got the idea in my head in, in, in any case. So it's not going to do me any harm over there. So, uh, yeah, basically what I'm going to do now, let me just click here. I don't even know how long I've been talking to you guys. Um, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to try and think of, uh, of something that uh, is relatable for people to, to wear. Um, you know, uh, so I've got to think, or wear, or carry around, or whatever it may be. So this is like, this is not the right um, size, aspect ratio that I need for those drawings, because I need 12. 100 by 1200 um, or 2400 by 2400 which is which is the standard for the pixel size I don't even know I haven't set the preferences in this yet so I just want to check something um, canvas size see resolution there which is pathetic um, I don't like uh, I must have worked I don't know if, no, the other one was 300 dpi. Um, so I'm just going to say 2400 by 2400. This is the standard size for um, 
the the t-shirt work the the hd um t work then i'm saying you get new and then it's going to also be the same and i don't know um this this is the size, standard size canvas i think i'm pretty sure 2400 by 2400 the other things are a little bit different though um i can quickly go check oh no i can't really i'm gonna load uh 2400 i think there is a difference in size and this might not be the right size but it will still keep the aspect ratio of what i need at the end of that to upload it um yeah it's been a while since i designed a shirt which uh which is bad as well not, not good i need to do that more often obviously obviously uh business and all but uh you know as i said before i've been waiting for the right system so uh yeah and don't 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 do that don't just, i mean i draw i do traditional drawing as well so it's not like when i'm, I'm out of it that i don't have an idea of what i'm oh, that, I, I, that i don't continue drawing you know? um so i think on on what uh, i can do and my head is like a little bit fuzzy right now i've got a think on, on what will work for for a shirt um, I can do a redo of my old shirt that I have that I did a while back yeah I think that that um, was not saved in the proper format because I was still new at doing the shirts and everything and um, I didn't quite save it the way I should have saved it back then. So uh, just kind of getting an idea uh, down. Oh, baby skull. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll do an artist breakdown for you guys tomorrow. Uh, this is just in general on like how to go about thinking and and we can drawing designs up and, and just to, to get some concepts out there. Um, if concepts remember are loose and, and, and fast, so you don't have to concentrate too much on how, how the drawing, as long as you can understand the idea of what you're putting down um then it, everything should be all right okay so my old drawing has got a lot of like different elements in it um the the skull has got uh flowers and, and i'll have to just reference the skull again and As I said, this is again just a very rough drawing. You know, you don't want to spend too much time on on uh, your concepts because it just takes too much of your time. Um, you've got to just get what you can down, and then work from from there once you've once you've done it. Um, I'll definitely, okay, I had cracks in the skull and I'm not even referencing my old drawing, which I'll do later on, but I'm pretty uh, sure on how it, how it goes, so it's not, uh, it's not, it doesn't look exactly like this. have like this weed growing on the skull over here and then they often have these little sucking points so sort of like gripping points for the plant and uh, everything is plants are always attracted 
to where's the so if that was the light the the plant will will follow the, the actual physical light to try and grow out and uh, capture the light as much light as possible and uh, you know that's that's the important thing to understand about plants is that uh, they're always competing for sunlight because of the the chlorophyll basis in the in them um, they want they want sunlight that's why you see grass grows taller and uh, trees if you have a lot of trees next to each other you'll see that they they grow quite tall it's because they they actually physically competing against one another it's a sunlight war in a way they they want that light and um, yeah so that's something you can consider like here I can put one of those um, what, I don't even know what you call them um, little puffy thing I use it in anime a lot floating around it's a little white ball um, that can get blown by the wind but it's also good to reference your plants so uh, that's probably what I'll do from there uh, with, with this is again just a, a nice little concept that I'm doing um, the mushrooms are here um, you know maybe I'll add a little bit of like dec decaying flesh or like old old flesh and stuff because the mushrooms are decayers so what they do is they they're there to to absorb um, dead uh, well dead anything they plant dead uh, flesh they are known for that they, that's what their job is you know we eat some mushrooms but uh, they still are exactly that they decay things and they help the, the planet keep it clean like the ants um, yeah I have a lot of different things uh, I can put um, you know just like maybe a bit of a Ridge thing here, and then have okay, the skull's forehead just come out a little bit more. And then, as you can see, it's, it's just rough, and then you just keep keep at it until you get the right feeling from it, and, and then you can take it further from there. Um, maybe like a, a rock over here with um, moss growing away from the sunlight um, over there yeah this definitely would be an improvement over the last one it's got more understanding to to to, to plants not that I didn't understand them back then it's just I drew I have these different flowers growing out of the skull maybe um, something like a, a centipede coming out over here or oh, a millipede I think yeah millipede centipedes are the long uh, what we in, in, in South Africa call a shonkalolo um, Uh, the, the long guys with the thousand leggies coming out um, yeah so a little bit more depth to the picture over here have a bit of pebbles you know kind of rough ground have the nose uh, hole sticking out there And then you can slowly see the picture actually developing. Um, yeah, I've taken a bit of, it's not actually that long on this concept. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, I just want to take that light away. Ah, come on. See, I the zoom, I must take that zoom off. I don't actually use the zoom like that. Trollics, that's not what I want. Yeah, I can use a hard eraser and just quickly erase the stuff. It's, Control X also works quite 
No man, not control Z. Control X. Got it. Hate it when it doesn't listen to me. Ah, screen. Sorry. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just take this concept and make it smaller. And I have one concept down and then move on to the next. Um, see this, so this is just kind of laying out ideas on, on shirts and things and that, that that can help you in the long run because uh, you know it you can get you can go and look at these things and, and reference them and then like okay, I'm gonna draw that shirt now or I'm gonna draw another different thing. So uh, another little thing I can do probably is um, have this cute little little elephant. Although I don't really like drawing it like this because I want to understand what the elephant's doing. Um, yeah, now, you see, I didn't start a new layer, so what, what helps with the new layer and the concept art is that once you make a mistake like this, you can just quickly uh, erase the thing by clearing the layer. So let me just start a new layer there. Girl, pencil. Okay. Um, yeah, so... I've got to think on, on what what this oh, my dogs are sleeping here next to me maybe I'll do kind of like a an alley with his, his his bum in the air over there and his little paw sticking out and his ears flopped like this and again as you can see it's just it's just quick quick movements maybe his trunk is lying kind of like like that happen his eyes are closed and he's doing that and just lying there thing at the tip there. Now, luckily we have elephants in South Africa but not walking in our back gardens. That's uh, I think uh, um, from us understanding how, how South Africa works. We're like any other country we have our towns and cities and then we have our reserve areas where where the animals actually are. So uh, it's not like they, they're all up in uh, our business. Um, Although I guess it doesn't hurt having people think that uh, we have lions walking around in our back gardens, um, which is absolutely untrue, <laughs> absolutely hilarious when we hear people actually think about uh, our countries like that. It's 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 not how it works. So you guys have seen, or some of you may have seen District Nine. That's uh, Johannesburg. So. A very clean city, but it's a city, so. And then we can make a little bit more depth, maybe like this little big little butterfly sitting on his bum over there, and then uh, ah, my little dog, she's talking. Um, you see, then what I'll do is I'll reference the the elephant's shape and, and everything once I'm done um, coming up with the concept. It's not um, quite exactly how I'll keep it. Have a little bit of grass, kind of just the idea of the grass, the lines, you know, coming out, making it look like you know he's he's heavy, he's lying there. Um, uh, 
a D and a R. Yeah, just a little bit of cross like that, and then also like this, and have a bit of the cross line that over there, a little bit of cross over here, and then uh, yeah. So just getting the the idea down, and this will be most likely like a phone cover or something like that. It's not really for shirt, but mm, it could be for shirt. You know. So at the end of the day, once the design's done. It can be a variation of things. Luckily, you can do that with uh, threads. So, you know, then there's another concept down. You can take that. Uh, okay, well, that doesn't matter. Just. Uh, move that up there. And this, this is a trick that. Uh, not really a trick, but this is a, a thing, uh, the way that uh, Mozilla also does things. He'll draw a lot of figure drawings and uh, then he will just uh, add new layers and make the smaller people. Sometimes he won't even add layers, he'll just do it on the same layer. But I like to have the ability to clear the layer first. Alright, so there's two concepts down already. Um, I think I'm going to do a third, and then I think I'll stop this video. I think I'll do a third, and then, yeah. Um, I think a little bit more difficult, something. thing is, um, I'm trying to stick to my own rule, that, or the rule that uh, Big Girl uses in, in Ultimate Survival is uh again as i say kiss you know you always think of this this uh this phrase and what it means is keep especially when it comes to shirts it simple stupid so it kind of it's 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 just to to understand to keep things simple. Um, you know when you're designing for like logos and, and things as well, and when you're designing for for t-shirts and covers and things, there's a lot of complexity in them in themselves. But as long as you keep the idea simple, you can work from it, and um, you can get a lot of information down um, with the simplest things and a lot of people like keeping things simple and I might actually make a shirt from that as well um, I'll have to find the uh, see if it's, it's, it's copyrighted um, you know if, the, if it's the thing is patent up, um, no, copyrighted infringement if I use the actual phrase so uh, yeah just uh, understanding understanding that basic thing when you when you're drawing like designs you know not so much your your um, concept of and stuff but you in, in a way every like that phrase applies to everything because you know you don't want to go too complex on things and put too much information for the viewers I you want to put in what what needs to be there you know I've just got this business I need to run as well um, I just see a little alien duty uh, that I'm doing here again, and I'm not going to go too 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 much in detail with this little character. You know, even less detail than what I did with the other two concepts. Maybe not. It depends. It develops as it goes. Um, kind of like a, a plant guy. Ah. 
Let's see, I'll have to reference uh, animal muscles for that one. It looks like horns, but yeah, I'll understand it. So I'll even put a, 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 I'll put a, I'll put a, a artist note here, you know, kind of like to to make sure that if I do forget what uh, this character is about, then I can just reference. I can see in my reference there that is a plant. Shorthand note. Kind of like vine growing wherever he goes. That can probably be a phone cover, you know. People, I mean, I can probably also just give him a little bit of a wing there. Insect, insect wing. And uh, yeah, understanding your shorthand notes and, and keeping them, it, it helps you at the end of the day just quickly know what uh, it is. It's also for inking purposes, you know, once you begin doing the, the inking. And uh, yeah, I'm just not sure. As you can see, I'm, you know, I fiddle around with my character's hands and try and do a little bit of, of gestures. Maybe he's got this little plant here that's, that's half dead on the one side, um, drooping, and uh, but the other side is coming alive because he's busy um, reviving the plant because he's a little sprite. You see, you get this little story behind your little character. He's a little sprite, and, and he's kind of sad in a way, you know. He's trying to save this desolate area of land, and uh, he's, he's, he's using this power. So you're gonna say dead, um, dead plant, dead plant, and then uh, alive. You know, and I know that I'm just bringing the, the plants back to life there. So you know, I might actually change this entire drawing. It's a very good idea. So. Um, might make them actually flying uh, above the plants or something like that and uh, yeah just get get your ideas and this is kind of how you develop on your uh, ideas you just keep things keep things simple especially in this phase keep it simple and then uh, you can get relatively far on your concepts because you you ah let's not do let's do Okay, let me just undo the whole thing that I know. Taking it in scale. Uh, a little bit bigger than that. It kind of looks like he's involved with the elephant now. Effolent. Alright, well, I'll do one more concept because that one was uh, really short and uh, quite simple. And okay, my. F you know, uh, one of the difficult, most difficult positions for me to draw. Is uh, I think about a character um, with their their spine going backward or like they're half floating in the air like this, and uh, you know for me it's it's one of the most most difficult positions to draw. So I don't need to practice it. And uh, but with this, it's kind of just kind of going to be a figure figure drawing. It's not going to be. Or at least a skeletal figure joint for me. I, I do do that with my, especially with my concerts with, with people because it's too tempting for me to carry on the drawing. Um, as you can see, it doesn't even much look like floating, so I'll have to like turn the perspective and kind of get that going there. Oh, I love digital, I really do. I love. Having the ability to just rectify. Okay, I see I didn't um, do a new layer there, but it's all right. Because I'll just, you know, you know some a female, you know, floating. Okay, then have that chest point. Uh, or chest point actually more up here and then down there. 
and then have a reaching kind of this way and then um right and this is just like a quick thing just to determine whether the, the pose will be right i've got an artist mannequin that i can use um so i don't know i don't like it uh and i say this this is one of the things that i struggle with the most to be honest with you another th another weakness of mine um to be honest with you is hair uh, i have to really work on my hair um practice that um once i practice that you know, and get more used to it then uh, i'll definitely improve a lot more um yeah so as i say it's it's one of the most un uncomfortable and difficult um poses that i i experience is, is this particular pose and i have to go look it up actually a little bit more and uh, practice it and it's not that I don't practice it it's, it's just that I need to practice it with understanding there's a difference between practicing and practicing with understanding yeah. and if you practice with understanding uh, you know what you're doing uh, um, meaning that you'll, you'll go and study up on your stuff and then you'll also reviews reference and things and that that just brings your knowledge up a little bit more it helps you develop faster um most certainly um like the hand can be posed kind of like like the middle finger is the longest and then that and then have this hand kind of like touching something over there and it's all about uh, again about shape and, and understanding um, you know how to manipulate shapes okay i see that the uh pc stopped me from streaming i'm going in again sorry guys i'm trying to connect um you know otherwise what i'll do is i will leave it there um i think let me just okay it's in again but uh off to like as i said off to this uh off to this drawing i'm anyway going to or off to this pose i'm anyway going to uh cut the feed and then carry on with my my work let's just put the other leg down here so the floating is more emphasized so you can see everything is not quite um, in place the way it should be. The rope cage is a bit small and things like that. But again, this is just a figure drawing and this is just getting the, the general idea down and getting your ideas down is better than, uh, than just outright drawing things from, from scratch and then you don't know where you're going with the, the concept. So I'll have something like that and and there'll be maybe a little bit of a glow here yeah. um, she's touching something it's glowing glowing and uh, she might be in space she might be uh, um, just floating in the sky or something or uh, wherever you know so that, that, that will come to me um, again with, with t-shirts and stuff it's, it's a little bit more difficult to understand and draw them because uh, it's a specific way you design and knowing what you're designing is 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 the key there i'm not oh, okay well i mean it's a little bit more difficult in the way it's like it's more difficult for me because i'm 
<laughs> I drew I drew characters a lot when I was younger, so understanding how to to stylize them and get them to kind of um, be a design that someone would actually physically wear is a different uh, a different story. But anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna zoom in here and show you the little concepts that I just came up with. Uh, let me just press T here. All right, so these are the concepts that I come up with. This is kind of an old design, but uh, I'll do a new take on it. And I think I want to do that because that that's that was a, a very nice design. And um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I can do a lot better in it now. A uh, little elephant, um, you know, kind of for sleeping, something for a sleep shirt or something like that. Um, you know, people like wearing little tired animals and things like that. And then we have a little alien maybe this one or this little um, plant duty what uh, sprite I said um, what I'll do with him is maybe develop him into like a uh, a painting so uh, that, that will be the difference there so I'll, I'll quickly just put my notes down for you guys so that you can see this is going to be a T that's going to be uh, okay also in, in a way a T um, it's going to be one of those, uh, okay, so definitely woman's tea. Um, and then we'll have him as a painting. And uh, I'm just going to put D F here, which means develop further. So this one can develop a lot further and it can go a lot further. This one, um, not really quite T. This will be more for like the iPhone cover, iPhone cover. And um, yeah, so it's just to to understand what I want out of them. And when you understand what you want out of them, like with an iPhone cover, the difference is um, you can go a lot more intricate with the design. So you can make um, a lot more depth to the drawing than you can do specifically on a T-shirt because uh, a T-shirt is something simple you got to keep it simple because otherwise people won't wear it. Um, you know, there are some fantastic designs out there and they are a lot more complex. And I've got one myself that's a lot more complex on my, on my thing. So go check that out on, on Threadless as well. Uh, I'll put the links and everything in tonight. And then you guys can go and check, check those uh, designs out. It's all the same as I've had before because I haven't been designing the, the tees and things, but uh, just to understand for you guys who want to go into this, how, how these things do work. Because uh, look at this isn't like a logo design or anything like a tee. Sometimes often we'll have kind of like a, a design of, of some sort. So where you'll have two sides of the same coin or, you know, splitting everything up. And then you have, uh, kind of like these two meteors and the angel wings and, and words that don't make sense and, and maybe a here which will attract more people to buy it because they, they, they can relate to the year or maybe 2001 or whatever and uh, those, are, those are your common t-shirt shop designs you know those, those are the things that you'll find in your supermarket and uh, it's it's not that the designs are, are bad or anything like that it's just it's very unrelatable and um not very artistic and i'm, I'm an artist so it, it, it takes a lot out of me to do a graphic design like this then it takes to do something that's characteristic of myself which is like little characters and and things like that and uh yeah so just understanding like the um designs and understanding the process of designs um so just getting to know what you're doing um, when you're doing t-shirt designs if that's where you want to go into then it's a good way to start your art career as well because you can develop further in there and you can really play around and the the site like threadless has a lot of options for you to do you can do um, t-shirts you can do iphone covers you can do paintings uh, you can do wall art for uh, like murals wall murals uh, and a lot of things to do for for people so it's not very limiting you can you can do quite a lot it's just to 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 stick to something as well to where you want to develop is where you got to stick 
to um, you can do a lot of different um, ideas and stuff but if you at the end of the day want to be a t-shirt designer a graphic designer then that's where you're gonna have to focus your efforts on if you want to be an illustration artist then that's where you're gonna have to focus your efforts on um, you can do all these other things as well but uh, just keep in mind that the more time you you put into everything around the, the point where you want to put or to to develop in the more time you lose in developing in the area that you wanted to do so like if you want to be a game concept artist then you need to design landscapes and you need to design characters and you need to really focus on getting down on on the, the digital uh, digital painting scene and even if you're not do, do, doing digital painting and you're very good with pastels and things like that then you need to focus on that instead of focusing on on graphic designing for instance graphic designing can really mess you around um, when it comes to um, designing characters and and different things but if you want to be a graphic designer then focus on your graphic art and, and try and get those things developed and the, the final thing that I can say is uh, uh, where you, you know, d d really just develop in the area where you want to develop and that, that just focus your, your efforts there. But uh, yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please go, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome of you guys. And please go check out my Threadless account as well. Um, I'm going to leave the links for you guys. Join me on DeviantArt. Please leave comments. I will, you know, I'm actually looking for you guys to kind of indicate what you want to see and then I'll, I'll be more than happy to draw it for you guys but anyway um i really enjoy doing this with you guys and i'll continue doing it i'll do it tomorrow i'll do a character uh, breakdown for you tomorrow so please check that out as well and uh thanks guys um keep having fun and uh you know keep at it that's uh the most important thing that anybody can ever say to you when it comes to designing Thanks, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Cheers, eh?